The following video is sponsored by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is your one-stop shop for sticker sheets for Transformers of all generations, from reproduction labels for the oldest pieces in your collection, to upgrade sets for the most recent retail releases. They also make labels for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and more. ToyHacks.com Welcome back to Stick It! My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for SS38 Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. This set comes with 20 separately numbered stickers and costs $15. When I made my review of Studio Series Optimus Prime two and a half years and 700 subscribers ago, a young starry-eyed Kit was impressed with this figure's vehicle mode, at least in the paint department. Turns out this statement didn't age poorly, as there really isn't much that the Toy Hacks team had to do to bring him up to snuff. Looking at him head on, one can already see the majority of their additions, namely covering the clear dark blue windshield in an even darker gradient, adding a Marmon badge above the grille, and your choice of license plate. The side windows, which were originally painted a somewhat brighter blue-green, are given stickers to match the windshield. The cab's brow is given a weathering effect, which looks somewhat out of place since the rest of the cab is still pristine. Speaking of out of place, the gas tanks are covered in chrome, the only chrome found in either mode. I would have much preferred them to be flat silver to match the paint. At least the tires are done superbly, adding to the realism of this mode. I had my girlfriend take a look at it, trying to bounce ideas of what to write about, and she didn't even realize they were stickers at all, since their text, a nice bit of fan service, match Optimus's own silver pretty well. So it's not like the gas tanks couldn't have been silver. Sadly, this is your lot when it comes to vehicle mode. There's nothing around the back to simulate taillights or anything, and I feel that was a missed opportunity. Robot mode is far more well endowed, taking a somewhat flatly colored robot mode and sprucing him up with enough small details to eke out a premium feel and bring him closer to the model used in the film. We begin at the head, where we stare into his loving, fatherly blue eyes. Admittedly, he looks a little wall-eyed, but I appreciate the attempt at getting that lit iris look that I love about modern Transformers. I honestly prefer this to just a flat metallic label at least, it's more characterful. Those windshield brows definitely look more at home here, with everything surrounding them being so busy. The eagle-eyed among you may have noticed something inside his chest during transformation. Since there isn't any space inside his torso for a physical accessory, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership is rendered on some flashy foil stickers. It's a good representation, but you need to essentially decapitate Optimus to actually view it. Moving on, his shoulders gain some Autobot symbols and little dashed lines for those raised circles. Upon closer inspection, both I and the photographer for this set got them backwards from the film model, but who would I be if I wasn't a hair splitter? By his wrists are the iconic yellow prime chevrons hearkening back to the original cartoon, as with all things. The handguards are covered in blue in an attempt to make his black mitts look less out of place. The largest stickers by far are ironically the easiest to overlook. His thighs are covered in gunmetal, with some additional vent detail. Finally, his feet gain stickers evocative of those found on the original Generation 1 toys. Cool stuff. I'm not sure if Studio Series Optimus Prime still has the same buzzing reputation that he held at the time of his release, or if his collective memory has been erased with the advent of Earthrise Optimus. Either way, if this figure still holds a special spot in your cholesterol-encrusted heart, this is a very nice set. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I definitely prefer him with it than without, and I feel you would too. 
If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. When we return, we'll be taking a look at Toy Hacks' improvements on everyone's favorite triple changer. This has been Kick Catastrophe. Transform and roll out.